Okie dokie. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Well, uh, I'm currently working on my uh, Final Fantasy XIV blog post right now. Um, and I had just finished up my stream about half hour, 45 minutes ago. And um, so it's quarter to five right now. So my window to post up that blog is between 5 to 6 p.m. So I kind of really need a boogie. Um, but like usual, I'm at a point. I'm at a point in the blog making process where I want to talk about PvP. But, um, but it's going to be a lot easier making a video about it than having to sit here and type a big old essay on how it works and stuff. And, uh, I actually tried to pull up, I actually made a, I did make a PvP tutorial video about a year ago. I played it back. It sounds horrible. So, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, make a second, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, make kind of a modern day one. Uh, plus, I've been playing the game for the past year. Um, I've gotten better since then. I've learned more stuff. So, so yeah, I think it, uh, it was pretty much high time to make kind of a kind of a version 2.0 of this video. So, but uh, like I said, um, I am in a bit of a hurry. Uh, I need to get this video taken care of and off the press and all that. So, so this is more of a time saver. But anyway, like usual, I'm gonna have some music going in the background. Nice low res image. Uh, this is gonna be Space Shepherds. Losing time finding space. So I played this kind of music before. Or I played this album before. So, so let me go ahead and get into the game. Let me go ahead and adjust it. Let me go back to LBS, make sure. Okay. Let's get this squared away. Okay, so to start with, uh, PvP. Uh, first, it needs to be said that in this kind of PvP, um, unlike a lot of other games that have PvP, is a little different. You're not um, you're not taking on an actual organic human opponent. What you are doing is you're taking on um, you're taking on the team that he has chosen to defend his kingdom with. Like in my case, I'm defending uh, defenders will fight for you. Whatever major kingdom um but they're um they're not fighting me personally they're just um fighting whatever team that i have that i'm using as defense and then the ai takes care of the rest so, so but that's that's the big thing and then um and then um whatever and then you can use you can use any team you want any four characters or any four any four troops I'm probably gonna say troops characters and cards interchangeably so, but but yeah like I said you can use any team you have in fact there's um, you can even use uh one of my one of my favorite things about this kind of PvP is uh like I said you could use anything so you can use this uh, for example a firebomb team which it's, it's basically uh, designed to give people a free win, especially for those uh, low-level players that don't have very power, that uh, have very powerful groups. So, um, I even had a, I thought I had a treasure team in here, but nope. So, but yeah, I, you'll see a wide variety of different types of teams that they're defending their kingdom with. So, and then. And then the way this, the the way this kind of works, if uh, yeah, I'll kind of explain how these uh windows work. Hopefully you can see my mouse. If I was to say take on Seabax, uh, the guild he's in is a uh, Italietta. If I defeated this team, I'll get a uh, thousand thirty-eight gold. I'll get four glory up. Uh, four glory. You use these. Glory to open a to open chests. It's a type of currency. Then you'll get a one award. Um, this matters for guilds, and you'll get a. I think it's a PVP rating. Like um, your uh, points will build up. You'll you'll accumulate points. But yeah, if I beat this team, I'll get a uh, 50. If I lose to this team, I'll only I'll only lose 10. So. If you look at the, but uh, these are uh, the three that you're seeing here, 
are tiers. This is the low tier. Oh, and the, the lower left corner, this is the uh, power level. Um, uh, if I understand it, power is the combination of all four of your troops. Level one. You know, 29, 40, I, all these are added up. Um, and there's some extra math involved. So, like, his power level is 11,000. Okay, hey, I just figured out what the uh, number on the lower right corner is. That's the, uh, level of the hero. That's the level, that's their, per that's your, uh, character's personal level. Or I should say, you, you yourself, the, the human player, this is your hero. Level 1258. So, if you kind of look, if you kind of notice, you're actually rewarded for taking on the tougher teams. It's kind of, it's kind of balanced. So, I could, I could easily, I could take on this team over here, and I mean, you got a level one, level one, and you got a level 20 here. I could probably just uh, pretty much steamroll this this one over here, but if I do, I'm only gonna get 50 uh, PVP points. Whereas I take on this one over here, this I mean this one this team here, this has got to be one of the one of the strongest teams in PVP right here. Very tough to defeat. But if I do, I get 70 PVP points. But if I lose, I only get um, I only lose four. As opposed to these two here, if I lose to these two, I lose 10. So again, the you're encouraged to take on these tougher ones if you can do so. Um, and I might do I might do a PVP battle or two, but like I said, I I need to get back going on my blog post. Um, and then there's uh, ranked, and then there's ranked. Um, I kind of wish you could see uh where you get the tears from. Oh, it ain't there. Once upon a time, I knew this. Oh. Well, it seems I had the wrong team in there. So. Okay, game's frozen. It always does this. It lasts like a moment or two. Okay. And then there's, um, there's also casual. So. Ranked. As you'd probably expect, um, wins and losses are tracked, and I believe this is a screen. Like it'll, it'll show the the first two stats here are your attack. Um, every time I attack another, this is my record when attacking other kingdoms, 66 and 8. This is my record for when other players attack me again. So, and I believe this only matters, this only matters for, uh, for ranked. And if you get enough wins, get enough of those PvP points, then these are all the rewards you get. So, so um, I kind of thought about this, I was kind of thinking about this, um, at, at, at some point recently. You know, I to the short version. As uh, as if anyone's wondering, uh, ranked versus casual. I always go with ranked. Why? Well, why not? Because one thing I learned throughout my time play, doing PVP in this game is um. This is in rank mode. Level one character, level one. You know. This is basically a newbie team. But yet. Here, you know, at least I think theoretically, this has no real business being in ranked mode. But yet, here it is. But yet, if you go on casual, you see this kind of team here in ranked mode all the time, and it's it's a pretty tough nut to crack. But like I said, this is a super strong team right here. It's about skull damage, you know. It's dealing triple skull damage uh, due to the way this works. It webs the enemy first, 
then deals the skull damage afterwards, so it's already dealing triple skull damage, and then it's creating six skulls every turn. This TV is pretty deadly, but yet here it is. I'm casual. So, the only reason I could see why you'd want to go with casual over ranked is um to refresh this, it only costs 50 gold. So, a lot of new players aren't going to have the kind of gems that I got or any of the other other uh, more seasoned veterans have. So, so you really couldn't, you really, you know, couldn't spare the uh, spare the gem to refresh these. Because for me, um, the battles that I avoid have element elementalist as their class. Elementalist in this game is the most powerful class in the entire game. So, if I see an elementalist, I'm steering clear of it. So yeah, I would have to. But again, I could spare the gems. The low tier, the low tier players, the low level players. They couldn't afford that, so yeah. Then going with casual would make more sense. And then also, um, the way uh, the way experience, and I believe the way class experience works. I'll just I'll just grab this. Just the first thing that came up. Um, the way leveling works is um. Uh, most battles, except for the explore ones, you'll get two XP, no matter what. At least that's the base amount. Um, if you did explore battles like these, you'll only get one XP. No matter which difficulty you do, you're only going to get one XP. And I believe for PvP, you're going to get two XP. So. Again, if you're a low-level player that couldn't spare the gems to refresh the uh, board until you get something you want, yeah, elementalist. Um, pretty tough team, but like I said, you'll find these. You'll find some pretty tough teams even here in casual. Yeah, I bought this one recently and ranked. Pretty tough group right there, but yeah, here, here it is, casual. So, I would say if you could spare the gems, just go with ranked. And then, um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and kinda do a little gameplay sample. There's something else I like to do in here, but only because uh, I have quite a few teams um, I do what's called horses for courses. I'll try to match up. I'll try to try to find the best matchup. Like for example, my main team was Zolgoth, the most powerful troop in the game. But even then, he's gonna struggle against certain groups. Like he can instantly kill an enemy, burn and freeze all the remaining ones, and then create twelve skulls to boot. But the problem is. He can't target stealthy, uh, stealthy troops. And this guy here, he's also impervious, so... I can't stun the stealth off of him. And stun, for those that don't know, it, um, it locks out your... It's a debuff that locks out your traits. But not this guy. He's immune to stun, so... I ha I can only hit this guy last. And... He's pretty capable of, uh... Doing some pretty serious damage. I mean, web everybody. That means you deal zero magic damage, and then deals um, armor that goes straight to life. So this guy has it too. Um, thief. Yeah, I think it said level 100. Yeah, level 100. I can't. Zolkov can't target him. And if he gets this ability off, I believe he will be blessed. Yeah, yeah, he's blessed, which means. He's uh, immune to all debuffs until either A, he deals skull damage, or B, he um, casts an ability, which, again, this is an infinite loop right here. So if he gets this off, Zolgoth can't target him. So, and then Leona's tower. Invulnerable. He's immune to lethal damage. I can't insta-kill him. Enraged Karandara. So, again, horses for courses. But again, I can do this because... 
I've got quite a few different uh, teams here to choose from. Although, typically I stick with two. But the Rock Band, however, the probably the big draw, deals true damage to the first enemy. That, that, and regardless of whether or not they're stealthy. So, no matter who's in the first, no matter who's in the first slot, is always gonna hit, get hit by this. Knock them to the back, again, just ignore stealth. So, no matter who's the first enemy, it's gonna hit them. Even the invulnerable ones. But again, again, as I'm kind of running behind here, and I think I'm going over long on this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna take a drink of water. I'm kind of talking myself hoarse right now. Oh, also, for what it's worth, I have the external speaker turned off. And, um, the, the music and sound, the music and sound effects are coming straight out of my computer. So, I'm wearing some crappy headphones. Um, I can kind of tell the sound level on OBS. Looks alright, so... Just for what it's worth. Okay, so he's debuffed. So. Oh, and uh, this here just damages an enemy and then creates uh, a mix of six red and brown gems. In my case, 24 of them. So we're gonna knock the we're gonna knock the tower to the back because I want to expose him. Although you don't necessarily have to because. He's stunned, so I can actually target him now. Oh, and also, stunning locks off the traits, and then also, if you're if it's the uh, if it's the hero, the champion, it locks out all these as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and 75. This might be enough to one shot him. Yeah, that tower is out of there. Oh, and also, uh. Let's wait. Too late. Too late. So, he's not blessed. But luckily, I took out the tower. Oh, and I forgot to mention too. Create three elemental stars. So, the cut, the whole bunch of explosions that you saw, the stars were the cause of it. And he steals life, and now uh, he's at 180. So, I guess knock the hero to the back so I could expose him. Let's see if I can, um... Okay. Uh, so... Yeah, this is pointless. Hey, one shot. And he's gaining even more life. So... The elemental stars that my guys are creating, um, you can match them with brown, blue, green, or red, and it'll uh, it'll destroy gems in an X pattern, you know, like from here to here to here to here and to here. So, but I'll just, it seems I have enough to one shot them. All right, cool. And nothing you can't do. So this is basically gonna be a war of attrition right now. Got him. But like I said, horses for courses. And then um, there's like this um. There's this like kind of after, after post battle screen uh, shows the MVP. I hardly look at this. It isn't. Sometimes you'll get a. Uh, sometimes the MVP will be somebody who dealt zero damage, zero spell damage, zero damage taken, yet he did something totally meaningless. But uh. Okay, so but let me go ahead and um, show the rest of this. I showed this earlier. Uh, this is uh, I think it mainly pertains to rank mode. 
So this is what I've done for the week. This is what uh, me on attack and then uh, defending my kingdom. Uh, my favorite troop. I don't use them that much anymore, but yeah, rank rewards. Oh, this is what happened. This is your uh, for your ranking. Like uh, my rank is 130 right now. So this is what I got. And if and when I reach um, number one, never happened before in my whole time playing this game. This, these are the rewards I'll get. So, but I already got my two, I already got my 1900. So, and then uh, these down here in the lower right is your overall, how well you've done. And once again, I believe this one here, casual might apply. I don't know. And then we have battle log. Um, and sometimes it'll show who you won or who defeated you. And then sometimes I, as you can see in the lower right, you can use five of these per day. Um, sometimes I might be on a cold streak and sometimes a good, uh, a firebomb team might come up. Um, a, a treasure team might come up. Yeah, um, uh, almost. Yeah, like I said, you can find some really strong teams here in casual, so. Yeah, Brigham Zolgoth. Again, the most powerful troop in the game. You'll find him here in casual. Rope Dart, one of the best uh, weapons in the game. You'll find them in ca you'll find them in casual too. Okay, not having any luck. Uh, let me spend a gem or two. Somebody knows what they're doing. Team score, eighty-seven hundred. And again, team score. I think it's a combination of uh, all of your stats and then plus some extra math. Wish it would show it. Yeah, yeah it, it probably will after I'm done with this video. Yep, there we go. Like I said, um, I'll pull up my uh, main team, Zulu. You know what? Oh, and then there's this. This, I hardly use it. You can increase the uh, stats of the enemies. You'll get bonus XP Golden Souls. Again, I don't really need any of these. But I guess we'll... oh. Hopefully this will be my last battle. Again, I gotta get a brown match in there before I blow the board with Leprechaun. Just kind of uh, extra insurance. Okay, well, even better. Blow the board with Mountain Crusher. There goes one. And then Centurion. Um, for every wild card that's already on the board when it casts this, there's an additional 10% chance to devour somebody. And then uh, it's gonna convert all the skulls into wild cards. Kill somebody. It's gonna kill your target. Go. Yeah, didn't get many souls out of that, so. Whoops. Totally and completely forgot. You can't, um, battle log only matters in rank mode. So, yeah, that's, I kind of slipped my mind, but that's another reason to play ranked over casual when you can. So, and then there's leaders. Um, 
What is up? I'm rank 130. But all right, but um, that's gonna do it for me, everybody. Um, I hope I got. I hope I covered everything. Like I said, I'm a bit of a hurry trying to get my block taken care of. Uh, 25 minutes. Yeah, I kind of went a little over long. So, but like, I hope this video helped everybody out. Uh, but thanks for watching. I appreciate that. And uh, back to blogging.